actually i think i said actually in one of my last vlogs that i was in australia i still am um i'm in sydney i'm actually going to a pool party today <laughs> It should be fun yeah just a little intro to this vlog i went to pi which is a tiny town like two and a half hours from actually i don't know how long it was maybe two to four hours from chiang mai on the windiest road ever i think it was there was a pub quiz question 762 turns i think i think that's it <laughs> um there's 762 turns um in like a not that long of a journey like two to four hours and it's horrible and the drivers are chaotic they overtake absolutely everyone um and because it's so windy you can't see if you're gonna crash or not honestly don't know how they don't crash but anyway so we booked it literally the night or the day of and our first hostel is a bit of a weird one we stayed in I'll put the name of it on screen, but it was called something Family Hostel. But it was actually really nice. It had a pool. Um, it was very clean. It was something like a 40 bed dorm, but it was basically just a massive corridor. And then they had like little cubby holes, I guess, of like four beds in each. And it was actually really nice. There was curtains and whatnot. And I think everyone who booked it was kind of in the same position. Everyone kind of wanted to go to the party hostels, but they were full. And there was a big rave that night it was called the jungle rave i think they do it every couple of weeks in pi um and you literally get driven in the middle of nowhere on a tuk tuk everyone gets on <laughs> and then we stayed at nolo hub which i would really recommend if you're going to pi there's events like social events and there's events in terms of seeing the area i don't know how to say it so jordan is the guy who runs it he was lovely went out of his way to make everyone feel at home and he even taught us to ride the scooters which <laughs> you'll see further on in the vlog i don't know what we would have done without him i don't think i would have ended up doing going to the waterfall or whatever because i was a nervous driver and he made me feel way better about it to be honest if i didn't have someone to teach me i don't know what i'd have done <laughs> so and there's just like good social events, like ugh, I really didn't film much, this is why I'm doing this intro because yeah I just want to stress, like if you're going to Pi, go to Nola Hub, um, you'll see Jordan, say hi from me, <laughs> it's just really fun, like, the hostel's really nice, the only thing I would say it's quite far out um, to get into the town, it's probably like a 20 minute walk which was kind of annoying at times but they kind of organise group taxis to tuk-tuks to drop you off um like uh, when there's like social events happening in the hostel and stuff and they pick you up from the bus station which is in town um and they also take you back to the bus station i don't know if that's for everyone or they were just being nice because we looked really helpless with our bags but i think and pie overall you'll see in this vlog was just a great time a backpacker's haven i would call it enjoy the vlog and you can look forward to these Australia vlogs. There's also the rest of Thailand. I was in Malaysia and Singapore. And then the Australia vlogs will be coming. vlogs in like four days we've just been chilling recuperating so the look at the view it looks so good
This is Char. He followed me uh, and he's sat under the table. On top. And all of them have. I just met with Nicola, my school friend, which is really nice, and two girls I did the Lao tour with. Actually in Pai there's like no really like tuk-tuks or anything, so we've rented scooters and our hostel's doing like a scooter tour to go see like the main sites, but this is just me documenting me learning how to drive one of these. Um, yeah, it's, I, the only way I can describe it, it's like really similar to riding a bike with like the balance and stuff, but obviously there's like power behind it. So it's a little bit scary. Mum, well, I'm sorry, I know you said don't do this, but easiest way to get around. So Pai's really quiet and it's quite easy to drive here. So the hostel guy is teaching us to do it. Um, it's one of those things where I feel like once you've done it for like 10 minutes, you're like good. And it was like 300 baht to rent it, which is like six pounds. Yeah. All right, let's take time, I'll follow you up. Scooter. We decided, like, I literally learned how to ride the scooter like half an hour before this tour. It was at two, and I think I got on at like half past one. And if you know me, I kind of hate driving at home. I do have a car, I, I can drive, but I just don't enjoy it. And um, I think the furthest I've ever driven is like 20 30 minutes where I live. Like, I've never been like on a motorway, I just don't enjoy driving. I like being a passenger. So I'm glad I did it. I'm actually really proud of myself for like keeping up and doing the whole thing. Don't get me wrong, I was at the back, going my own pace. Um, sometimes we went quite fast. Like We got scooters, because um, that's kind of what you do in Pai. There's not really like any transport or anything. Um, and like, you can only join this tour around like the canyon, the waterfall and stuff, if you've rented a scooter. So it actually was really fun. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I'll do it again. I did find it quite scary. <laughs> We've finished now and I'm like, Jesus Christ, thank God I didn't fall off or anything because that would have really ruined my plans. Like, it's actually really hard to balance. It's literally like riding a bicycle. Enjoyed it, glad I did it. Sorry mum, I know I said I wouldn't do it, but it's just what you do here. <laughs> Even like the canyon, that was really scary to like walk around because like there was such big drops and I'm literally in my crocs like slipping everywhere. <laughs>
Oh my god. Can I do it? Yeah. We've had quite a day. Um, so, you know when like people always say there's ups and downs to traveling? Well, too bad. We're not even sad. So everything has gone wrong to the point where it's actually funny. Like, bless Sophie. She's had, she's had quite a day. <laughs> I blame Sophie for this. Her look is just not. I can't say what I can't say what happened. <laughs> I did like it. So imagine we book a hostel in Chiang Mai just for one night because we're going to um, the airport tomorrow back to Bangkok. And I'm still with Sophie who I met in Laos. And it's the wrong bloody address on Hostel World. And we literally turn up to this like the middle of nowhere, really dodgy looking garage where it's closed. And it has a sign saying the name of our hostel. So we're like, it must be here. It was all boarded off and stuff. Um, and because we have data only sims, we couldn't actually call the hostel or Hostel World to ask. So Sophie had to contact someone in England to ring them. And then they picked us up because they've moved addresses, but they didn't bloody change the right to the right address. And then, I forgot about this. So we turn up to the right hostel in the right place and there's not enough beds. We booked for two beds, two people, two beds, and there's one bed left. Now we're in a private room um, instead of a 12 bed hostel room um, to like compensate us, I guess. And we got the money for the taxi taken off. But oh my God, it's just, it's so bad. I'm sorry. We were kind of joking, thinking, oh my God, watch this be bad. So it's been like an hour and a half since we got to Chiang Mai. And yeah, wrong address. Wrong hostel, stranded for an hour, got picked up, and then when we got here, there wasn't enough beds. So now we're in a private room, and sorry, just let me show you. What. We were joking about how bad it was going to be, but oh my god, it's literally a mattress on the floor. Oh, but it's rock solid. It's have, rock you, have you laid on it? on it? No, have you lied down? No. On? Can you show? Can you show my vlog? Oh god, this. Oh, can you hear that?